Welcome to Wesley's channel, this is Wesley and it is Wesley's news. Today we're going to be talking about the extraction of energy from Schumann waveguide. It is important to understand for everybody who is looking for free energy that there is no free energy unless you find the original source of energy, you convert it to a usable form of energy that we would like to have. And this is usually electricity. So electrical energy then could be utilized by us. But there is no miracles and there is no free lunch. However, there is plenty of energy that is free of charge and we don't have to pay for it. The more traditional ones are solar and wind, and we're not interested with that. People who were trying to understand Tariya Kapanaze and his technology based on Tesla coil were looking for some solutions without trying to understand the phenomenon. That's why it is extremely important to have a proper theory. I'm not going to use so much of the physics, I'm going to keep it nice and easy. We have Tesla coil. Top capacitor, we have a coil, and we have a front. Tesla coil has another coil, or we could represent that coil on the side. Each coil has its own capacitance, inductance, and resistance. But for AC circuit, it has capacitive reactance, inductive reactance, and also resistance. So we may think about coil as three in one resistor that is always resisting and minimizing current, capacitor that is capacitively reacting, and inductor that is inductively reacting. And those two could add and subtract. Impedance with symbol Z is measured in ohms and is made of from total reactance X that includes XL and XC. The R is the resistance of the wires, so it's present. When XL and XC equals zero or cancels, we have a heavy coils and we have resonance. We have two types of resonances, series and parallel, and we're going to concentrate on series now. We are dealing with inductive reactance, capacitive reactance, and we're going to look at resonance and those reactances at resonance. The inductive reactance value of an inductor increases linearly as the frequency across it increases. Therefore, Inductive reactance is positive and is directly proportional to the frequency. The higher is the frequency, the more opposition and the more nasty it becomes. The reactance value of capacitor has a very high value at low frequencies, but quickly decreases as the frequency across it increases. Therefore, capacitive reactance is negative and is inversely proportional to the frequency. If either the frequency or the capacitance is increased, the overall capacitive reactance would decrease. Electrical resonance occurs in AC circuit when two reactances, which are opposite and equal, cancel each other out as XL equals XC. And the point on the graph at which this happens is where two reactance curves cross each other. At resonance, the impedance of the series circuit is at its minimum value and equal only to resistance R of the circuit. And we know that coil is 3 in 1, resistor, capacitor, and inductor. So when inductor and capacitor is zero in value of its reactance, then we have left only R, which is the resistance of the coil. Coil experienced two types of resonances, parallel and series. In series resonance, the current is maximum, voltage is minimum, and in parallel, the current is minimum and voltage is maximum. Both parallel and series resonance circuit, they have their own bandwidth, where FR is center of the bandwidth, and the bandwidth is from F low to F upper frequency. Series resonance circuit allows only the frequencies between lower frequency and upper frequency to pass. All other frequencies are blocked. And parallel resonance circuit reverse allows only to pass all frequencies, but not the frequencies between lower frequency and upper frequency. Impedance would be very much useful later on in this video. We have a few types of radio waves, radiating surface wave, ground wave. We are interested only with surface wave known as Zenic wave.
then the wave is not radiating in a far field. For simplicity, we may say that it sink into the interface, and interface is the border between lossy dielectric or lossy conductive medium and air in our case. Surface wave that is known as Zeneg wave is a plane electromagnetic wave in TM transverse magnetic polarization mode that is traveling without a divergence over the surface bounding two media of different conductivity and dielectric constant. Zeneg wave comes into existence as a result of zero transverse magnetic reflection coefficient. The wave tilt angle known as Brewster angle of incidence in case of Zeneg wave is frequency independent. Zeneg wave sink into the lossy dielectric media but at the same time it also sink into lossy conducting media. This is an example of three coil structure where far out coil is the transmitter and it does have a two receivers, receiver one and receiver two. Transmitter from the picture on the right is fully covered with aluminum foil creating Faraday cage and the frequency of operation is 27 megahertz. Both of the receivers have connected incandescent light bulb and the transmitter power is 40 watts. Receiver is very forgiving and doesn't have to look like Tesla coil. Quorum patent, I quote, the receive circuit presented by the magnetic coil 309 provides an advantage in that it does not have to be physically connected to the ground. So I decided to give it a try. My Tesla coil acting as a transmitter is in another black building. Tesla coil is in a backyard of another building and is grounded. Proper vertical elevation and other things will be discussed later. I was talking to you, I was talking to you about dielectric. I'm gonna make a point here. My dielectric along with air creates an interface. And my hand acts as the ground. Although there is no direct connection between the light bulb and my hand. It is a capacitive reactive coupling that is taking place. The steel water. And if this is the goal, Transverse electromagnetic wave with the TE or TM mode could be applied to different things. So, if let's say we are right now in America, but we want to send electrical energy to Russia, no problem. But if we want to send the energy to the ocean, no problem. So, Synergy Potok 2 is not And that's my point. Zenec wave was utilized by another American company, Visif Texan, to deliver electrical energy using earth air interface without any wires from America to any other place in the earth. Our scientists uh, in our company launched this Zenec surface wave. Uh, we built a a uh, 200 foot high tower out of fiberglass. I've got a quick little video showing it. Charge terminal at the top will reach a level of 200 million volts, around 18 kilohertz, a place called Milford, Texas. Next year, power delivery uh, overseas. The device presented by Visif Texan company is made to deliver electricity from point A to any point B in the earth. And it does not differ from a regular Tesla coil, like this, like this, and like this. 
And now you see the example of working device given to the one who wants to play with it. In our single high voltage Tesla coil we have a capacitor, coil, ground and image of the top capacitor created on the ground. Top capacitor and the ground creates a variable capacitor that is regulated by changing elevation of the sphere with regards to the ground. When capacitive reactance is leading, we have a high voltage and low current. XL cancels XC in serious resonance. The electromagnetic wave is pushed into the interface between earth and air by proper phase relation and wave tilt angle known as Brewster angle. From the other side of the earth, light bulb is receiving electrical energy using the same Tesla coil as the transmitter. Changing of elevation of a top capacitor is one of the tuning factors of Tesla coil, but the height could be much lower than that. Metal telescopic mass is much better, as we don't need the wire to connect top capacitor to the top of the coil. In this structure of Tesla coil, we have a ground wire, primary coil, set of individually tuned phasing high voltage coils, and corona hood. Corona hood is overlapping few top winds of high voltage coil. The whole voltage is delivered to the top capacitor and additional device connecting top capacitor to the pipe is shown on the picture. And then we have a ground. Exotic version of Tesla magnifying transmitter with extra coil is shown on the picture. Look at number of tuning factors. It works as well. Additional coils on the ground are not necessarily to be applied. Увеличительный передатчик Tesla с дополнительной катушкой – это передатчик с первичной катушкой Tesla, подключенный к вторичной катушке высокого напряжения. Опциональной катушки на земле не требуется. Независимо от увеличенной катушки, нам надо померить напряжение и ток в отнесении к земле. Current and voltage meters indicate parameters of resonance. Устройство может работать с двумя конденсаторами, один с дыркой внутри, Instruction настройки и разные виды устройства. Different structure could be used to make the device and they are shown here. Рисунок с левой стороны представляет два разных вида приемника с землей и без земли. Настройка приемника представлена с правой стороны сверху. The space cavity between the surface of the earth and the conductive ionosphere is often naturally excited by electric currents in lightning and can act as close waveguide. The limited dimension of the earth caused this waveguide to act as a resonance cavity for electromagnetic waves in the extremely low frequencies ELF band. When the diffraction and reflection of electromagnetic waves sinking into the ground is equal to zero, we have launched Zenic wave. Earth is a lossy conducting medium, air is dielectric, and sort of two-dimensional space between the two is called interface for the Zenic way to travel around the world to the nearby receiver. However, unlike transmitter receiver configuration from Visif, Earth by itself can act as a creator of a Zenic wave in the same interface as there is a plenty of energy inside of that waveguide between Earth and ionosphere. Uh, one lightning can create avalanche of lightnings around the Earth. And then we have a cloud and plenty of energy variation inside of that waveguide. What is interesting is that one side of that waveguide is the Earth. And that is also the place for the interface that is carrying on sonic waves. Zimbia, одна из стен волнового шумана, является в то же время одной из стен земного воздушного интерфейса. Поверхностная волна, известна как волна Зенка, может быть естественным образцом создана на этой границе из-за флуктуации энергии внутри волновода. Путешествуя по всему миру с 92-98% эффективности, может быть получена приемником Тарьела Капенадзе. Чтобы сделать такое устройство, вам нужно сначала потренироваться. Используя две Тесли, расставленных как минимум на 62 фит, это 19 метров. Одна из катушек Тесла подключена к генератору, а другая к лампочке. После того, как вы успешны в этом, вы готовы сделать устройство Тарьеля Капенадзе. Приемник, он очень прощающий, и в версии Капеназе не обязательно должен выглядеть как типичная катушка Тесла. Причина, по которой катушка Капеназе настолько мала, 
заключается в том, что он электрически сделает ей меньше, используя контур. Это право-лево и противоположно. Катушки Тесла в вашей тренировке должны быть в вертикальном положении. Поляризация должна быть вертикальной. Опуская и поднимая верхний конденсатор, вы устанавливаете угол наклона волны. Меняя проводочный отвод катушки или скользя вдоль высоковольтной катушки, устанавливается правильное соотношение фаз, как в приемнике, так и в передатчике. Скользя по первичной катушке, вы меняете напряжение. Причина, по которой у Тарьела в первых версиях был искровый рассерядник, было то, что у него все время был готов спектр частот, чтобы подобрать, если подходит. Значит, катушка сама подбирала частоту до резонанса на своей собственной резонансной частоте. Мы знаем, что катушка приемника может быть небольшой, но в передатчике высота катушки D должна быть как минимум 4 раза больше диаметра D. Но D должна быть большой, чтобы предотворить разрядку. The last thing to discuss is standing wave. Since we have Schumann resonance, we have periodic cyclic phenomenon causing standing wave. Irregularities of such standing wave is our discontinuum to periodic event that makes part of that energy to sink into the interface if the conditions are right. Dr. Corum in his patent says structure must be electromagnetically excited and some means of supplying or extracting the energy must be provided. 1987. So structure must be electromagnetically excited to be able to work with naturally present Zenic wave in the interface. You can call it activation, if you will. Не не могу больше подключить. Если эту лампочку подключу, все выключается. Не могу синхронизировать. Но это и не важно. Все, рубаем наш аккумулятор, забираем. Установка работает. Все, пошли по кабелю заземление. Все, ничего. Visive technology has billion dollars of investment so far. Zenic wave can be applied to so many important to us regions of interest. And if you think about it, scary stuff. In around 2024, you may see unrecoverable changes to world economy unless Department of Energy, possibly followed by Department of Interior, put a secrecy status and restrictions on it, if ever. При всем моем уважении, мои дорогие друзья, около 2024 года экономика России, основанная на продаже нефти, может начинать приходить в упадок. Земля больше не требует не нуждается в природном газе нефти. Автомобили и корабли, возможно, будут приводиться в движение непосредственно волной Зенка в том же движении. Все российские трубоводы и нефтяные установки могут больше не понадобиться. Алюминий и медь, используемые для промышленных электрических установок во всем мире, больше не будут продаваться. Значит, Российская империя Дерипаски может стать несуществующей. Все патенты, а их около 200, принадлежат американцам, поэтому страны нефти могут быть вынуждены считать свою собственную нефть либо как убыток, либо сжигать ей, превращая ее в электрическую энергию и позволяя американцам без его решать, какой источник они будут использовать для распространения в мире. Министерство энергетики Соединенных Штатов решает, в каком направлении будет двигаться технология. Таким образом, возможное продвижение может быть стимулировано американским правительством, что может создать турбулентную ситуацию во всем мире. Я сделал это устройство, а доктор Ханс заставил его работать. Так что теперь не я, а доктор Ханс должен решить, сделать ли презентацию. Он до сих пор ведет себя как очень молодая девушка не зная, что с этим делать. Но если я, или он, или кто-либо еще издадим устройство сегодня, или отдадим, поставим в интернет, мы имеем беспрецедентные изменения уже на завтра. С 
со всеми посредствами. Мы живем в прекрасное время, мои дорогие русские друзья, и я желаю вам, чтобы мы были все равны в наших возможностях на успех в жизни. Желаю вам всего хорошего. До встречи.